Glen Cairn, also known as the John Irwin House, is a historic house in Greensboro, Alabama, United States. The house and grounds were recorded by the Historic American Buildings Survey in 1935. The house was added to the National Register of Historic Places on January 18, 1978, due to its architectural and historical significance. History Construction on Glen Cairn began in 1830 and was completed in 1837 by John Irwin. Irwin was an influential attorney, slaveholder, and a Democratic politician. He was born on September 10, 1799 in Pendleton County, Virginia and had relocated to Alabama by 1821. He married Eliza Margaret Chadwick on October 5, 1822. He was elected as Green County's representative in the Alabama Senate in 1831 and was chosen as president pro tempore the next year. He went on to also serve in the lower house in 1836, 1837, and 1842. He was a congressional candidate in 1845 and 1851, but was defeated in both instances. Irwin owned 169 slaves in 1860 and was a leader in the secession movement that led to the formation of the Confederate States of America. He was heavily involved in the 1852 and 1860 Democratic National Conventions. He died at Glen Cairn on December 10, 1860 and was interred in the Greensboro Cemetery. His son, George Irwin, inherited Glen Cairn and owned it until his death in 1916. It then passed to George's son, Cadwallader Irwin, until his death in 1955. The home remained in the hands of John Irwin's ancestors, being occupied after Cadwallader Irwin by his daughter Ida Vernon Marhood and her husband Dana Lee Marhood until the former's passing in 1987. The house then passed to daughter Catherine Rugg and husband Samuel Rugg before going to daughter Audrey McCullough in 2015. After her death in August of that year, the house passed to her widower Mark McCullough, who resides there now and is overseeing renovations to the interior. <laughs> Architecture The two-story Greek Revival structure is frame construction. Some insist the style of the architecture is actually Georgian, a rarity among antebellum homes in the South. In any case, Glen Cairn features a five-bay main facade with a two-tiered portico over the central bay. The portico is supported by four Doric columns on each level, with Doric pilasters and elaborate wooden panels ornamenting the wall surface. The doorways on both levels are recessed and are surrounded by side lights and a transom. A plain pediment crowns the portico. The exterior corners of the house have paneled pilasters, reaching up to a plain entablature above the second floor. The roof is hipped. <laughs> Gallery <laughs> Notes <laughs>